So this next uh, little piece here is about sliding glass doors. Um, and this would also be the same for what we would call a bypass door um, in a closet or something. Um, and there's something I always tell students that I want them to consider with a sliding glass door. And so what I'm gonna do is come up here and grab a couple pieces of furniture. Um, so I'm just gonna grab like, I don't know, maybe a, a couch and a love seat <clears throat> or something and I'm going to clipboard and copy it with the base point and I'm going to come back here and I'm going to paste it <clears throat> okay so what I'm going to do here is <clears throat> kind of just um, arrange this room slightly and this has I don't know maybe nothing and maybe everything to do with a, um, a sliding door um, but we'll see if we can make sense of this. Move this person, move this one here, move this one here, okay? Um, okay, so I'm going to kind of make this the arrangement in here, and I'm going to say this is my little living space right here, all right? Um, so if I was going to make the door, the sliding door, um, in, in this area, let's say I'm going to put it on this side wall, um, or right here, it really doesn't make a difference at all. But let's say I'm going to put it uh, right here, okay? I want to think about over a couple of things. The, the operable door, uh, which is the part that slides, versus the fixed portion. And I also want to think about um, space and proximity and stuff. So even if I go back to my blocks file, you can see that the, the block I chose um, here was, was very, very uh, small. Um, I don't know why this is, is doing this now, but uh, anyhow, this chair was relatively small as compared to this one, okay? Um, and so that being said, uh, if you were to go ahead and change your furniture around, you know, that might affect, um, you can't, you're not going to move a door because you bought a different uh, couch and love seat, okay? So let me go back over here, and in this case, I'm going to say, well, I want my door to be somewhere in this neighborhood, okay? So how far is that? Well, the first thing I should probably do is kind of work that distance out. Remember, because I'm never going to go ahead and just pick an arbitrary point. It says, okay, that's about 7 feet 10 inches, all right? So let's call that 8 feet. So 8 feet from here to this wall, okay? And that looks like it's giving me about somewhere in the neighborhood of a, a foot of space left over. So I'm thinking, really, I might want to go ahead and offset this about 10 feet, all right? And why is that? Because now this gives me the flexibility to, um, you know, to put this door, uh, to, you know, to rearrange furniture, pull the room this way, pull, push the room that way, uh, whatever. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Maybe we'll go with nine. Okay. So I'll go offset nine feet. So again, what I'm getting at is, you know, you don't, if you use the blocks, if you use the things that go in the house to kind of develop the house, then it's always going to work uh, a little better for you, right? So that's going to be the inside of my door. Typical sliding glass doors a lot of times are five feet, uh, so that's a 60-inch door. Uh, you can also get a 72-inch one, so in this case, I'll just draw it as a 60, so I'll go offset 60. Okay. And now I can go ahead and trim out what is in the middle. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that these are part of my door now. Okay. So I'm going to put those on my door layer. And there we go. All right. Drawing a sliding door. Super simple. All right. So now you got to go ahead and draw a center line. You're going to offset it two inches either side, just like you're doing with a window. Now, the only change, if this was going to be a bypass door, like for a closet or something, um, you know, this is a four inch wall. So if you offset it uh, two inches, it would be this identical as the wall thickness. So in this case, you would offset it um, an inch and a half um, instead of two full inches. OK, um, <clears throat> now go ahead and draw a line across the middle, and I'm going to offset that line two inches to either side, okay, 
Oops. There we go. I think I dropped it twice on this for some reason. There we go. Okay. Um, so when we look at this, uh, we got to talk about fixed and operable. And that's the other part that we want to think about. So the, the fixed panel, the one that doesn't move, is always going to be on the outside. So if this was a fixed panel, and this is an operable panel, that's what I'm getting at. The doors are staggered, right? So this slides past the fixed panel. So this would be the inside, and this would be the outside, OK? If, I, if you ask me which way should this be a right um, slide or a left slide, meaning should this, you know, should this open and close, or should this part open and close, I would kind of stick with um, this part being the open and closing uh, part and this part being fixed. And I think that's because, you know, I could still put uh, a plant or a nested table or something. I could partially kind of cover this. Um, and if I kind of think about the space, um, you know, this this is accessible from here. It's less of a less of a walk. Um, maybe that's a little bit better of a traffic pattern. Um, so it's really up to you, you know, how you want to position that. Um, it's hard to position that with without any frame of reference here because we don't have, you know, we all we have is a bathroom and some interior room at this point. So um, just go ahead and trim. And again, so the this is the operable portion. So I trim that and I trim that. Okay. Now you can see that the it, the operable portion slides past. And all you have left to do is, oops, I shouldn't have trimmed that that way. Trim. Sometimes I have to think my way through this. You kind of always have to think your way through it. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. Now you can go ahead and just get rid of that. And you can get rid of that. Um, Another thing you're going to do, and I have a block for it, is um, you're going to go ahead and sh label, basically. I have, a, I have a block that I just have students use. You put it on the inside of the, uh, the door marking, and, and this block would show you um, the, the actual operable side of it. So it looks a little different than this. It's a little nicer looking arrow. So that's it.